Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am super excited for this recipe. This is chicken parmesan in the air fryer. So stick around and we'll get started. Our first step is to fillet each chicken breast into two halves. Filleting your chicken allows you to cook more evenly and gives you a little bit more control of the flavor of your chicken because there's less meat that needs to absorb your herbs and spices. All right, now let's go ahead and give our chicken breasts a nice little olive oil bath. We'll be adding about one to two tablespoons of olive oil to our chicken and making sure that the chicken is pretty much saturated with olive oil. Next, we season with salt, paprika, and garlic powder. I'm pretty generous with the seasonings. I don't really like to measure, but if you had to estimate, you could measure out about a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and about a half a teaspoon of salt for each chicken filet. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. It's super important to remember to season both sides of your chicken breast for more even flavor. And now we go ahead and coat each chicken breast with our crushed cornflakes. I went ahead and crushed our cornflakes off camera because I feel like it's pretty boring and you guys don't want to see that, but you're going to want to crush about one and a half cups of cornflakes that are unsweetened. Uh, to make sure you've got enough for each chicken breast. All right, as you can see, our next step is to air fry our chicken at 450 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes. I like to use a meat thermometer to make sure my chicken is cooked. And once we've air fried our chicken, you wanna go ahead and add about a quarter cup of your favorite red sauce to each uh, chicken breast. So here I'm using Rao's homemade marinara sauce. We use this for pizza, pasta, pretty much most of our <laughs> recipes we use Rao's for in our home. Um, so we're giving each chicken breast about a quarter cup of red sauce. And if you like your chicken a little bit saucier, you can definitely add more. Next, go ahead and add about one to two slices of fresh mozzarella to each chicken breast. You can go ahead and place these right on top of the sauce since it will melt and create a delicious result. Um, once you've placed your mozzarella sauce on each chicken breast, you can add more olive oil if that's your preference. That's definitely my preference, so I added more olive oil and a little bit of black pepper to taste. Now it's time to place your chicken back into the air fryer. This time we're not gonna use the air fryer function. We're actually just going to conventionally bake our chicken parmesan for about 10 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And the purpose of this step is really just to get that mozzarella cheese melted into the chicken. Here is our finished result. As you can see, we have six delicious pieces of chicken parmesan. We served ours with a fresh salad. You can serve this with pasta. You could serve it with rice. You could serve it on its own. You can cut them into small pieces and serve them as appetizers. The world is your oyster and you can serve these however you like. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you guys have made these or if you guys have any tips for future videos. Thanks.